Rock Radio, Banana 101.5. Today is the day Loudwire Live going down at the Genesee County Fairgrounds. The rest of the Banana crew is there now. Tony Labrie actually hanging with Johnny of Art of Dying. What's going on, guys? Hey, thanks so much, Andrea. Yeah, Johnny back. It's good to see you, brother. You too, man. It's looking good out here. Yeah. yeah. Looking at the new do you got sporting now too, brother. Uh-oh. A little more maintenance, eh? A little, little higher maintenance. <laughs> yeah, right. It's great to see you. It's great to have you back. And, you know, some new music, a new album coming. What's the story? Yeah, man. It was, uh, you know, two years of our lives. We just kind of disappeared made the record with you David. did like you literally disappeared like didn't we hear did. anything for a while we were under a turnpike in new jersey just uh <laughs> hating life and and making a really difficult record for us but it was uh you know the fact that we got through it it's done it's coming out this summer we're just ecstatic now what, what made it so difficult oh dude so much uh personal stuff going through you know band members we were all going through things in our lives that were put us in kind of a dark place okay um you know we lost greg during the process so we we were five piece going in to make the record four piece coming out that was you know he's a founding member with me right. so it's just like a very difficult time um david bendeth really pushes his bands when he's producing to uh get you know something incredible out of them and so we you know, we met the challenge, but it was really difficult. So musically, I think people are going to be excited about this record. Emotionally, it's very dark and deep. And how far out are we from uh, from a release? Uh, summer. Summer. So we're just yeah, it's coming it's not soon. Too, not too bad. Not yeah. too far, man. So again, we're talking with Johnny from Art of Dying, performing out here today at uh, Loudwire Live with uh, Rob Zombie and Theory, Devour the Day, and Citizen Zero. Um, talking about the new record, you know, we've been rocking the tune uh, Rise Up, which yeah. has got uh, it's a great video. And you got Dan Donegan, which you have history with Dan Donegan of Disturbed anyway, right? Yeah, he's kind of like our big brother. He, he discovered us and uh, got us our first record deal and actually signed us to his imprint. Um, so he's always just been the guy that uh, believed in us since, since he heard about us. You know, took us on our first tour with Disturbed, um, where we found out he was watching our show every night. And that's, you know, it was kind of like a big, long showcase that we right. had no idea about. And, um, and now, yeah, we asked him. We thought it would be just a nice uh, homage to him and a nice thing to do and ask him to be in the song. And when we, when we were working that solo out, Tavis just said, oh, Danny would just knock this out. Like, let's call him. So and of course Danny being like the nicest guy in rock and roll he was he did did the solo with Tavis and then he flew out to Toronto and did the video with us and froze his ass <laughs> off in a snowbank. Yeah, it looked like a cold video shoot. Oh, it was cold. And where we we filmed it, it we had like fire barrels and stuff. But when when it came to the solo, they took those guys deep out into the woods and they were they were cold. Yeah, but Danny, you know, he's from Chicago. He can take it. Yeah, he can handle that. Yeah, it's such a a, a rocker of a song. Are you gonna find that? Uh, are we gonna find that this album is a little bit darker? It's uh, it's quite um. Yeah, I'd say it's it's dark, but there's some hopeful light points. Um, you know, it was just uh, every song seemed to be like a, a musical and emotional challenge for us. So we just tackled each song. There's 13 tracks, and and we go really far to the right, really far to the left. So it's heavier than we've ever been. Um, it's there's some electronic stuff going on that we've you know started to dabble with, just insp- inspired in the studio and. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's cool, man. I, I can't wait for people to hear it. I'm just bubbling, you know. I'm yeah, it's, a, it's We're all looking forward to it. Obviously, you know, you guys have uh, spent some time with us, and you know, you've been a part of like Dirt Fest. You've been to the Machine Shop and so many things. So it's it's great to see you again today, and uh, great having you out here. And looking forward to your uh, your set later on today. And you know, seeing uh, we're gonna hear some new tunes, right? Oh yeah, man. We're way too excited about them to not play You're them. Not so gonna... we're, we're we're playing as much as we can. And uh, we did sneak five songs out on an early EP, so that's out right now on iTunes and Spotify. And we have some at the show today. Just nice. some hard copies of a five song EP. So we'll be playing, I think, all those five songs. And uh, yeah, man, we just love coming back to Flint. You know, the yeah. shop, the shop, and you guys, and just now the the festival Dirt Fest was awesome too. I think we did that acoustic, right? You did. Uh... Did we? I can't I think remember. We did it acoustic. I know and, Adam was there and, and performed Adam came up and, and sang everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's what happened. Yep. Yeah. So it was as, very memorable. Yeah. As always, great seeing you, Johnny from Art of Dying, taking the stage a little bit later on here for Loudwire Live. We're broadcasting live today, and heads up, plenty of tickets are still available. So come out here and see us with Banana One One Point Five.